People ask me all the time, what are the bare minimum things that they should take to go to the gorge? Red River Gorge in the Slade, Kentucky area. Um, a lot of people start out to do a you know, couple hour hike and they get out on the trails and suddenly realize they're in bad shape. And I don't mean that in a physical sense, but I mean that in the fact that they are totally unprepared. They don't have water. They don't have any type of snacks. They don't have any way to start a fire. They don't have sunscreen. They don't have uh, lighting if it gets dark. They don't have protection from the elements or rain. So basically this video is to show you the bare necessities. Um, you can buy all of this stuff for mm, I'm going to say less than forty dollars. Let's start with the very first thing. Go to Walmart, buy you a cheap day pack that has a water bladder built into it and put two liters of water of this, two liters of water into this. Um, two liters of water is going to weigh about four pounds. Um, you will likely only need one liter of water, but you may find someone on the trail who doesn't have water, who may need a drink. Uh, someone that's in your party may have forgotten to bring water. There's a lot of reasons why you should always carry extra water. This is going to cost you about $20. Everything that I show you will fit in this with space left over. The next thing you need to bring that's an absolute necessity is a first aid kit. You can also buy this at Walmart. It's $4.97. It comes with basic necessities that you should probably need in case you get hurt on the trail. I'm going to actually open it up and show you a couple of things that I added that I felt that it was lacking that you should definitely take with you if you're going to the gorge to go hiking. Even if it's only for a two hour hike, you should take all of this stuff that I'm about to show you. So let me open this up. It's basically everything that come in this kit and I added a couple of things and I'll go over the reasons why I added the things that I added first and foremost chapstick I have two in there I really only needed one chapstick is a multi-use item one the wind can cause your lips to get chapped uh, two you can also use this as an emergency fire starter um, it will actually burn or prolong the burn of tinder uh, that can help you get a fire started in the event that you get stranded or lost. Two, there's a lighter inside this first aid kit. I always have a lighter with my cook set, but if something happens where my lighter goes bad, I've always got a spare. A lighter can help you uh, build a fire for warmth. It can help you create a signal if you get lost. Um, it can be a lifesaver. Another thing I always put in here, although the first aid kit come with some acetaminophen and, and uh, aspirin, I added Advil. Advil has always been probably one of the best pain medicines that I've ever taken. Um, it always seems to work if I do get a headache or something like that. It gets rid of it really quick where other brands just don't seem to do a good job. So always carry Advil. Um, I always carry enough that if I meet somebody that needs, you know, has a headache or they're dehydrated or something like that, that, you know, I've always got enough to share. Another extremely important thing to have on a trail, this is Imodium AD. If you're hiking and you get an upset stomach and you get diarrhea, you're going to get dehydrated very quickly. Your body is getting rid of all that water and you really need that water. Uh, so definitely take a Modium AD. Again, I carry enough that if I meet somebody who needs it, I've always got enough to share. Everything else, else that's in this first aid kit is what came in it. There's some first aid tape. There's some antibiotic towels. 
There's some sting relief, bug bite stuff, bandages, etc. You definitely want a first aid kit. Even if you're only going on a one or two hour hike, you definitely want a first aid kit. Another thing you need to take, wet wipes and toilet paper. When you're out on the trail and you're hiking, you're going to be sweating a lot. Um, when you get to a place where you can take a break, you may want to freshen up. Wet wipes are absolutely great for this. This is a travel size package. I think it's got 15 wet wipes in it. That is definitely sufficient. You know, I've, I've maybe used a few of these in the last three or four trips. Um, but to, to be able to freshen up and just kind of wipe the sweat off your face, wipe your hands off, you know, maybe you might even want to use it as toilet paper. There is also toilet paper in here. Uh, you don't want to be out in the woods and have to go poop without toilet paper, trust me. Uh, I actually knew someone once uh, who went hiking, didn't have toilet paper. Uh, they had to do their thing later in the day. They did their thing. They wiped their butt on poison oak. I'll leave you to imagine what that probably turned out like. So toilet paper and wet wipes, also an essential to have on the trail. Starting at about probably uh, the latter part or the middle of April through the early fall, you're going to want to take some insect repellent. Um, this is actually a... I don't remember how many was in this pack. It's a travel pack, 15 wipes. You really could take those out and make this a little bit lighter. Uh, 15 of them don't weigh too much. But, you know, basically you're going to need two, wet, two of these mosquito wipes per day per person. One in the morning, one at night. Uh, you will sweat this off during the day. They probably last for about six to eight hours. So having two per person per day, recommended. Going along with more essentials, sunscreen, and even though that I already showed you insect repellent, I usually keep that also, a little squirt bottle of it. It's 100 deep versus 30 deep. And I also keep another squirt bottle of uh, off bite and itch relief. So, you know, granted a lot of things are doubled up. There's a reason why they're doubled up. You always need kind of like multiple levels of backups in the case that you know something happens you know if you plan a two day or a two hour hike and you get lost or you get disoriented and you could be out there for two or three days while rescuers try to find you so uh, have multiple backups to whatever your plan is another great thing to have always take gum with you gum is great uh, let's say that you run out of water and you don't have a way to filter water. Whatever you do, do not drink water out of a stream or a spring. Uh, however, you can pop a piece or two of gum in your mouth. That will cause your mouth to salivate. Um, you'll get rid of the dry mouth, that sort of thing. So gum is great to have. Another great thing to have. A light source of some type. Almost all hikers use these headlamps. Why? Because when you're hiking, you generally need to use both of your hands for other things. Whether it be trekking poles or pulling yourself up, etc. You can buy these. This, this I actually bought from Walmart. It has uh, the red LEDs for night hiking plus the uh, normal clear LEDs. Um, I think I gave around $14 for this with the batteries. Definitely have some sort of light source. I recommend a headlamp for sure. Another thing you're going to want to have. This is a Frog Togs Parka. This is super lightweight. Probably weighs 2 or 3 ounces. You can get it at Walmart. It's around $5. This works multiple purposes also. If it rains, it will protect you from the rain. If you get stranded, get lost, you can also use it as a temporary shelter. Um, it also retains body heat very well. So if you sit on a dry ground and put this over you, um, it's going to retain your heat if the temperatures get down, you know, cold that night. It's going to help you a long ways. So a parka for rain or also shelter. 
Another thing you're going to need is a map. You can get maps online. Just search for Red River Gorge. You can find a map you can print out. I bought these from a company called Outrageous. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you can order these online. I prefer these topographic maps for the simple fact they show all the major trails plus all of the unofficial trails. Um, it also puts like points of interest, you know, where there's a good view at. There's red V's for nice view. There's Hanson's Point right there. It shows the unofficial trail. That's also an unmaintained trail. Uh, runs right into major trails. Shows you where the stream crossings are at, where there's potential water sources, etc. Definitely have a good map with you when you go. I do not know, literally, in just the last two months, I've probably met 25 people on the trails that didn't know where they were at. And a lot of them were way off from where they thought they were at. Um, just recently, I run into a couple with two small kids. Uh, they told me they went on a, uh, a short hike that morning. It was already mid-afternoon, so 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, they had no water. They had no map. They had no compass. They had no headlights. It was raining. They had no rain gear. Now, these the children that was with them was maybe, one was probably 8, the other one was probably about 11. They were uh, in miserable shape. And not only that, they were about 3 hours from where they thought, or I'm sorry, about 3 miles from where they thought they were at. So luckily I had extra water, I gave them some water, I let them take a cell phone picture of my map so they could find their way back, I gave them clear directions on how to get there, what trails they needed to take, hopefully they made it, I don't know, I've never heard. You know, another thing you want to take, you want to take some snacks. Hiking burns a lot of calories. Um... I've met people on the trail that were literally so exhausted they could not walk. So this is a pretty, you know, a pretty nice bag of snacks. I basically have two different kinds of crackers, a protein bar, some uh, turkey jerky, a couple bags of nuts. You know, this really isn't, you could eat all of this and easily burn those calories right back up in three or four hours of hiking. So. Definitely take some foods with you. Another good food to take that I don't show in this picture is corn chips. Corn chips, by weight and volume, are probably more calorie dense than anything in this bag. So I recommend you also take some corn chips. Um, I don't actually, well, hold on just a second. I actually have a bag right here. There you go. Corn chips. Definitely take a bag of corn chips. This bag right here of corn chips, 10 chips is 320 calories. Calories is energy. When you're hiking and you feel like you've run out of energy, like you just can't go anymore, like you're just dragging ass, you want to eat dense calorie foods, and corn chips beats all of them, trust me. Um, all these other things have various amounts of calories and proteins. Corn chips, primarily all calories. These other ones over here is kind of a fair mixture of each. Um, they'll give you some energy, but when you really need energy, corn chips is where it's at. Now, that is literally everything I recommend that you take when you go hiking. That is the bare necessities. So you've got a backpack, food, shelter and rain protection, map, headlamp, bubble gum, sunscreen, insect repellent, bite and sting, wet wipes, toilet paper, first aid kit. Two things I'm going to recommend that you take, you don't have to take. One is a GPS. You don't have to own a GPS. Both Android and iPhones have GPS apps you can download from the Play Store or the, the uh, iTunes Store. Uh, we'll basically turn your smartphone into a GPS, way to track your way in. If you get lost, all you got to do is track your way back out by the GPS coordinates. Another thing you should take is a camera. Take a point and shoot camera that can also do video. That wraps it up. I guarantee you if you take these minimum things, 
outside of the GPS and the camera, all of this stuff costs less than $50. If you have these minimal things, you will easily enjoy uh, a hike that lasts anywhere from one hour to maybe two or three days. If you were to get lost, this would easily keep you good for at least two days. Three days might be stretching it. Two days, definitely. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.